Hispanic cuisine is distinct and diverse, and some restaurants make sure they stick with tradition. Today, we're taking you to South America via Onslow County. Our Camila Barco gives us and takes us to a place that serves up authentic Colombian cuisine. Inside Liliana's Colombian restaurant and bakery, you need the arepas with them. You can find a dash of Colombia's versatile and diverse cuisine. The owner of the Hispanic joint, Liliana, offers a unique and pure Colombian taste to Eastern North Carolina. We don't use canned beans. We, um, you know, we cook the corn. We grind it. Alongside her mom, Aura Ramirez. The two serve up a variety of dishes stemming from recipes dating back six generations. My grandma's still alive. She's 93 years old. And I still remember as a little girl when she used to teach me how to make some stuff. And then the stuff that she passed over to my mom, my mom passed over to me, and now I'm passing over to my children. The mother-daughter duo served the Latino and Hispanic community in Elizabeth City, New Jersey for 30 years. <laughs> until six years ago, where they opened their doors in Jacksonville, North Carolina. We thought there was a need <laughs> for Colombian food. <laughs> on the menu, pandeja paisa, a crowd favorite. It's enough food on one plate to leave you satisfied for the day. Colombiano le gusta comer mucho. Colombians like to eat a lot, she says. Steak, rice, beans, fried eggs, a piece of Colombian pork, sweet plantains, a small slice of avocado, and an arepa. Any restaurant in the United States that is Colombian will have that plate. But a common dish in the yellow, blue, and red country, sancocho. It's hot stew with plantains, sweet corn, potato, and cassava, a plant used in Latin American cooking. At Liliana's, you can either choose sancocho de res or gallina, beef or hen. The soup is beneficial for new moms and the immune system. Somebody has a cold or something like that, so the vitamins that are in a sancocho de gallina are very important. La gente sale in Colombia, when people leave work, they'll have a sancocho with a side of rice and be full for the rest of the night. <laughs> Served with pride and love, each plate is cooked as if you were in a Colombian home. They shouldn't expect it to be anything fancy. Depending on the region, foods can be cooked in a different manner. Our tamales are different from the tamales from Mexico, the tamales from Puerto Rico. Tenemos mucha variedad. We have a variety of dishes. I don't cook everything made in my country because I have no time. But every Colombian dish is packed with flavor. Portion sizes are huge, almost everything is fried and filled with some type of meat. At Liliana's, the quantity of food is much smaller. Hay, hay que Customers vienen, visit and get scared of the amount of quantity served. Uy, eso tan grande. But you can't forget the buñuelos. This is like a type of fried dough made out of cheese and corn flour. And a meal wouldn't be complete without some authentic Colombian drinks. A top seller, Posto Bon, an apple-flavored soda. There's also Colombia's Malta Goya, an unfermented drink, and the traditional soda, Colombiana. Customers come, and if we don't have it, sometimes they get upset. <laughs> this is only a part of the rich and diverse Colombian cuisine, but you can get a small taste of the foreign country at Liliana's Colombian restaurant. For Hidden History, Camila Barco.